Hey, what's up? Yo, yo, what's good, everybody? If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. As you guys can tell, I got a new pickup here. Exactly what the title says. Let's jump right into it. All right, y'all. Before I jump into the pickup video, I gotta give a huge shout out and thank Grails SF. Now, here in the Bay Area, we didn't get these Yeezys. It was only in LA, Florida, and New York. Basically, the East Coast and the West Coast, not so much. So, how did I get these? First and foremost, Grails SF actually were one of the shops that actually had the Yeezys. And I told myself, the moment these shoes come out i don't know what i gotta do to get them but i know there's gonna be a lot of l's and that's exactly what happened on the adidas site and pretty much the whole entire day when they were released on saturday but that's pretty much why you guys clicked this video for the 350s now in my past pickup videos i specifically talked about this colorway the most this is the one i've anticipated the most this is the one i wanted the most this is the one where I think it's probably one of the best colorways of the V2s. Again, shout out to Grells SF. I really appreciate you guys. Comes in this slide out lid box and a common 350 boost box. All right. Here's the sticker label, size nine, my size. I went true to size. It's a white, sea black slash red. Again, this is the sticker label for those asking. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the best colorways of the V2s. And these are none other than the zebras. I'm letting you guys know this right now that these shoes look so much better in person. And I know I say that all the time, but seriously, these shoes look so much better in person. And before I jump into the whole details, the reviews, what I know about the fakes, just a couple of things about the shoe. Again, like I said, the Bay Area, we didn't get them at all. You only could get them online or the app itself, or you would actually have to get through a consignment store such as Grails SF. And I'm gonna put all their information down below in the description. So you guys know how much they're selling it for and you can actually buy it and have it shipped to you or have it pick up local. But yeah, here they are, the V2 Zebras. All right, guys, here's how they look up close with every single detail that you guys can possibly see on the shoe itself. Again, this is by far one of the best colorways of the V2s. And some people wanna know how bright this red is on the uppers. And for comparison, this is a Supreme sticker and this is how the red compares to it. On the right pair, it's mirrored exactly this way. While on the left pair, you actually have it just like this. Again, on the right pair itself, this is the pattern on the uppers. It does have the hand tag right here. And this hand tack is actually through the very last of the shoelace hole that you guys could see right here. I'm gonna move it around so you guys could actually see for those who wanna spot out fakes or just in general, that's where the hand tack is. And here's an overview of the top part of the shoe so you guys can see the pattern and where this whole 350 line actually goes to the very front. So a lot of times people would ask me, how does it compare to the previous 350 boost? Just wanna show that you guys right here. Again, this is how the back of the shoe looks like with the pull tab, both on each shoe. So you guys can actually could see that right there. I know some of you guys like these while some of you guys don't, but again, I just wanna show the backside of the pull tab. Now the soles itself is more clear on the outside and this back portion part where it actually looks like it's yellowed or aged. This is another indication where I've been told where this actually has to be like a aged yellow kind of look. You guys can actually see it here where the sole is actually white and then when it gets to the back part where it's actually here that you guys can see the two different tones one is like an age yellow and then this one right here is like a clear white you can kind of see it in two differences and this is where it's like two different lights one is kind of dark but yeah i just want to point that out there that's another indication where you guys can see if it's real or fake or not and then if i pull it towards the sole you guys can actually see it there we'll do it right there and then another shot pretty much different angle so you guys can see it there but again, it's clear whitish here, and then this part's kind of like a yellow age kind of lookish. Again, this is another shot with boat shoes that you guys can see. Again, it's not like a super white, but it does have that tint of that yellowish that you guys can actually see here. And I did want to point out the boost itself. It does have one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, so seven in total. And this is on the right pair. Now, on the left pair itself, you have again one, two, three, four one two three seven in total but some people want to look at the boost and compare it also but that's another sign where you guys actually see on the zebra pairs itself and this is another shot of both the front part of the sole that you guys can see again you can kind of see it there it's a little bit yellow not so much clear but in person it looks more clear just on camera it just looks like that so i did want to point that out here that again this is how the toe cap area should look like if i jump into the tissue stuffing and it's just this white tissue paper that you guys see i'm going to pull out the insoles but i did want to point this out that on the right pair it has that sticker label thing i'm going to go in and take it out for you guys this sticker label is actually on the right pair for those curious about this sticker go and take out the insoles this is how the insoles are you have the white base and it is easy in black. And another shot of the inside so you guys could actually see 
Maybe you guys could spot anything different, but that's just another shot of the inside when I take out the insole. And the shoe tag is actually on the outer part where you guys can see it right there. And this is just another shot so you guys can actually see it here. All the uppers, the sole, 350 logo, along with how the uppers look like. I'm gonna go in and move it pretty slow so you guys can take another look while the video is playing for you guys. The pattern, the shoelaces. Again, we didn't get these here in the Bay Area, so I just really want to point these out. And I know a lot of fakes have been floating around. You know, just showing you guys as much detail as I can for you guys. This is how the other side of the shoe with that zebra pattern and the uppers as well. Along with that kind of like a light tint of that gum sole that you guys can kind of see every time I move the shoe back and forth. Again, that's how it would look like. And one thing I did want to point out is how this pull tab part that you guys see these some people like and some people dislike lines up pretty flush with that 350 logo. You guys could see it right here where it lines up pretty smooth. It's pretty flush. Here's another shot of that along the back part. You guys can see it there. Fine stitch. So just another indication of that. If you guys have seen my previous videos, I've been anticipating and waiting for this colorway specifically since last year and Kanye teasing pretty much everybody who wanted a pair of the zebras. Just the uppers in general and how the shoe was executed is by far again, man, so much better in person, you guys, so much better in person. Now you guys are probably wondering how much did I pay? How much did I cop it for? What did I do? What did I get it? Well, here in the Bay Area, we got a Facebook group called Bay Area Sneakerheads or Bash for short. And I posted just a picture of the zebras, you know, and I said, looking for zebras in size nine, nine and a half. Again, for those asking if I went true to size or size down or size up, I went my true size, which is a size nine. I didn't go half size up because for me, for my foot, which is more narrow, they fit completely fine with me. So I went true to size for myself. I post on a Facebook group, Barry Sneakerheads, and I said, I'll trade my Oreos V2 dead stock along with dead stock 2016 bread ones plus cash. And you know, some people thought I was crazy, you know, trading two shoes plus cash. And I wanted this shoe and I told myself, I don't know how I'm gonna get it when I'm gonna get it, but hopefully the Bay Area gets some love, which, you know, we didn't really get that love. You know, like I said, here in the Bay Area, we didn't get them. So you only could get in LA, Florida, or New York. Basically, if you're in the East Coast, you had a higher percent chance of getting them. While over here in the West Coast, if you're in like LA, like the SoCal area, you had a better chance over here. It's just like, well, you gotta kind of pay Risa or do what you gotta do. And that's basically what I did. I added two shoes and cash on top. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys and be like, yo, the shop hooked it up, you know what I mean? And some people are like, oh, hookup means that you paid, you know, the resale price or whatever. And, you know, I'm not gonna really lie to you guys. You know, Grell's SF, they had their pair there and we made a deal. I included those two shoes and cash on top of it. And you guys are probably wondering how much cash on top did I add? And, you know, I added 625 on top. Some people think I'm crazy. Some people think like, yo, that's a lot, but this is the one shoe I wanted. So Grell's SF, you know, they worked that deal with me and I really appreciate them for doing that. And that's pretty much how I got this shoe. Do I feel guilty by adding the two shoes and the cash? No, not at all. Because I know for a fact that you guys obviously seen the prices from anywhere from 1400, 1600, 18, 2000. And I seen Fly Club nearly asking like 3000, whatever, which is, you know, it's kind of like a last resort when you get to Fly Club. But, you know, that's how much they're going for. I'm no expert from my knowledge. It's just gonna keep going up and up. You guys know about Yeezys and the resale value and everything like that. So I don't really need to talk much about that. Talking to the workers there at Grails SF, really cool dudes. Now Grails SF is a local store in the neighborhood of Sunset, San Francisco. So when you're buying something from a local, you're not only supporting them, but the community itself. And that's something that I always truly appreciate supporting the local community there. They had a Michael Jordan signed Carmine Sixes along with a Michael Jordan jersey signed as well. And that's something really cool to see. And in the front where the cash register is, they had the limited, the rare one of kind sneakers that you guys could find there. What I really appreciated is that in one of the corners they actually had the Supreme Dunk High SBs, which you don't see too often. So that's really nice that they actually had that there as well. But really one cool thing in that shop that stood out the most, which is a pull out Yeezy box that you guys can see, you know, you can put your shoes in there, whatever you guys want to put in there and that's really cool and it stands out and that's the first thing that you see when you walk in the shop and that's really cool to see i hope you guys like this video please hit that thumbs up man it would really mean a lot to me that you guys would hit that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please do again i'm putting out videos on a daily basis 
guys. Hopefully the shots I did up close and personal of the zebras helped you guys out a lot because in my previous Yeezys video, you know, a lot of people comment down below, very frequently asked questions and I try to answer them as much as possible. So again, shout out and thank you to the good people at Grails SF. All information, if you get order on the website, on their Instagram, will all be down below in the description. So if you guys can, please follow them on Instagram and I know that would really mean a lot to them. And if you guys think that this is the best colorway of the V2s or if it's another colorway or if you guys think that the resale price that you guys see now is worth how much these shoes are or just in general, comment down below on what you guys think. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. So shout out and thank you again, Grails SF for the reusable tote bag and of course the Zebra Yeezys. I think you guys already know what it is. As always, it's gonna be good.